We're back, guys. I uh, found a good uh, little pocket last week. You probably saw the last video and saw how I did there solo. Went back home, regrouped, got Connor with me. He got some time off, and we're going to come back in and see if we can find some more antlers. I know there's a few singles I didn't match up that we should for sure find, and then uh, it looked like there was more elk in the area, so we'll hit it hard for a few days and see if we can find them. We're just getting our water now. And this is like, from this point on, we'll be shed hunting. Uh, not quite to where we want to camp yet, so we've got all our gear. Kind of shed hunt as we make our way to th this uh, final spot where we'll pitch a tent and start shed hunting from there. Camp is set. Uh, we kind of just put our heads down once we got to water. Uh, we knew we had a, a ways to go, so we just kind of put our heads down and got to this spot. This is where I'm anticipating the elk were uh, during shedding time. Obviously, they could be anywhere in this desert country, but this is kind of the most beat up area. This is where I was finding sheds last time. So I figured let's camp in the zone. So when we wake up, when we go to bed, we don't have to do any traveling back and forth. So we're here, camp is set, the peak's tents up. I'll take you in, this is kind of a look at what we got going on. There's two doors, my bed. I got a brand new pad I'm excited to sleep on. It's 30 inches wide. I hate those little mummy style pads. I always fall off of them, so. Got that, a, a lightweight, it's like a blanket. Doesn't fully enclose, sleeping bag. Temperatures are pretty warm. There's Connor set up. You could run a stove out the top, unzip the bottom right here, and on those cold hunts or shed hunts, whatever you're doing, run a stove. So a pretty sweet tent. We don't need that, obviously. It's about 80 degrees. Gonna uh, strip down. Got our packs are uh, pretty light now, so we should be able to move around quick and just kind of pound out these, these ridges. There's a lot of south-facing slopes here, a lot of grass and brush. You can see pretty, pretty desert-type terrain, though, very dry. So we'll get our packs on and head out. We're gonna split up. We'll have radios to communicate with each other. Connor will probably film some of his pickups and I'll of course film mine. We got camp pitched and we're both we're both pretty dead, but we figured we'd get out and um, just do a run around around camp and within, I don't know, 15 minutes of, of searching, I was following this really rocky elk trail through here and caught these brows sticking up out of the out of the grass and the rocks. Just a goofy bull. Look at that thing all palmated pretty good weight to him pretty good mass but just kind of crappy genetics to be honest it's crazy in this area the, the how fast the critters get to him like that bird has a huge chunk already taken out happy with that and uh hope we can find a few more it's really tore up up here from elk you could just see their tracks where it was kind of muddy earlier in the year plowing through this east facing, east facing slope coming up bedding on these little rocky flat spots looks promising there's got to be some more well you get up in these rodeo grounds and if you're lucky and you're the first person into a spot usually you can find a, a shed or two and that's what I just did. A little brown there and a little brown right there. Yeah, not, not very big at all. Might just be a five point. Looks like it is, yeah, just, just a five on that side. Then you go this way and uh, that might be a different bowl actually. That's a six right there. Looks like a different bowl almost. Have to uh, pick them up and see. Probably the same one if they're both laying this close together. Yeah, it's probably a set. Looks like he broke off his back fork right there. But just a small six. Let's go grab, go grab that other side. Make sure there's not another one. A little six point. 
nothing wrong with that though. Nice browns, dude. Heck yeah. It's just fun to pick it. You get so deep and you want to come out with something like that's worth your time. And so it's nice when you can get into the browns like we are. Connor on his way over to film me just walked up onto a little another one kind of similar to this. So we're definitely in the pocket. We got four browns. Four and browns in an hour. <laughs> an hour and right out of camp basically. So yeah. keep keep scrapping and scooping. Just hitting this cliffy stuff. It looks freaking unreal. There's literally bull tracks everywhere you look. There's rubs, there's a rub right there on that tree. I knew there had to be a shed in here somewhere if Martin hadn't hit it yet. <clears throat> and sure enough, Picked one up. It's probably two years old is all, but it's chewed to crap. Would have been a six point. His back end's gone. And his first and third and second, it's all chewed off. I don't even know, like, that one's kind of a junker, but. <sighs> zig and zag, zig and zag. And then we find one. That is a match to one of the bulls that I found in here last time so got him matched up Whew. looks about the same as the other side right by the dead tree for a good uh, marker bedding right there good little distance maybe a few hundred yards between where I found the first one can you hear me getting chewed up oh man it's nice to find one of them he is a, not, not a giant bull, but just kind of a cool character. Throw him on the pack, keep looking. I think this spot right here could hold one more match to one of our Browns. Right now there's a confirmed three singles that we have to match up. There's probably another shed or two up here from another bull, like another set, but it's hard. Right now it's terrible lighting, but and we're pretty wore out. It'll be nice to have a fresh start tomorrow, hit some new grounds, but there should be three more browns somewhere right around where I'm at. <clears throat> oh, man, chilling in camp now. We put on a lot of miles today, feet are sore. We're going to uh, just eat real quick and then probably go to sleep and try to get rest, even though it's still pretty early, like 8 o'clock. Um, gets light early now, too, so by 5.30, 6 o'clock, we'll probably be waking up and getting ready to hit the mountain. I went with chicken teriyaki tonight. Connor looks like he's got chicken alfredo. So we're going to uh, chow down, fuel up, and then uh, go to bed. That was a good little half day. I think we could find some more tomorrow. We might have to do a little bit of hiking and moving around to find what ridge there were some other bulls on, but clocking out. First night is uh, underway. I think we're gonna stay two, two nights out here. Hang in there with us and we'll catch you on the next one. Hey guys, I've teamed up with Hunter's Fox Club to get you this exclusive t-shirt for free. All we ask is you cover shipping, leave a comment in the comment section of this video, and make sure you click the link in the description box of this video. It's my elk from last year, uh, over-the-counter bull in Utah. Pretty excited about it, glad we can get him on a shirt and bring it to you guys. So check that out. When you get this box, you're gonna get one to three surprise items also, so a pretty sweet deal. Make sure you hit that link and leave a comment and uh, grab this shirt.